Are you all able to hear me? Are you all able to hear me? Okay, perfect. I had a whole thing planned in the beginning. I was going to have the music going. I was going to give my introduction. And the audio wasn't playing. And I was wondering, why wasn't the audio playing? Well, it would help if I would have clicked go live. So I'm very sorry about that. That was my mistake. But uh, let's go ahead and begin what you all are here for. You all are here to solve the mystery of who left the cocaine at the White House. This has been bothering me for so long now. This has been so mind-boggling. But before we go ahead and do that, we have another mystery to solve. We have to solve what happened to these two people on this airplane. And we do have some more theories. Now, I want now, now that I have you all live, I can go ahead and talk to you real time about what you should look out for because I have been studying this for a long time now. And here's a couple things you need to look out for. Now, there were two names that were released. Um, I do believe they were Tiffany Gomez and another name. Hold on. Hold on, I'm just I'm just bringing my my browser up now, but there are two names that were released to the media just recently. Tiffany Gomez and Jenna Wilson. I want you to keep in mind to not pay attention to these names. These are not the woman's names. This is a way to get us distracted from keep to, to keep talking about it, but this is not that woman's name. Because you have to ask yourself. This name came out five days ago. So who found her name out? It was some random YouTuber who found out her name. They didn't tell us how they found her out. They didn't tell us how they found her location, how she was located in Texas. So that is not that woman's name. She's not Tiffany Gomez or Jenna Wilson. Um, so keep in mind about that. But I do want to talk about something. I do not believe... Oh, you know what? You're right. I should be casting my stream. I do apologize. This is my first live, so I'm still getting used to the stream, but I promise to get better. Okay, there you go. So there are a couple things I want to talk about today. So I, I brought this woman up here for a reason, and I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Uh, this woman was refusing to sit next to the man that was sitting next to her because he was a Trump supporter. But as you can see here in this video here, you can see everybody. You can see the person she's sitting next to, who she's yelling at, and her husband. So this person, whoever's recording, has a perfect view of all three. And I'll go ahead and play that really quick. What if we trade the police and she quiets down? How would so that as be? you can see, you can see all three people. Oh my God, this lady's gonna get thrown perfectly off the on this flight. The person in the hat is who she does not want to sit next to because he's a Trump supporter. But I have yet to see a flight where a person is uh, mad at the person next to them, and they were not recorded on film. Everybody is always recorded on film. So you have to ask yourself, why was um, the invisible person that was freaking out both the man who is now known as Tom Cowling and the woman never recorded? Now, I've talked about that in almost every video I made, but I have been doing some more research on this and I have been looking at multiple videos where there were freakouts from other passengers from somebody that was sitting right next to them and they are always caught on film 
except these two instance instances. But like I said, I have brought you some new information. And we're going to go ahead and focus on Tom Cowling. I do not believe he's still alive. I believe he is dead. Now, when a YouTuber says somebody's died or makes a rumor, I do want you to take it with a grain of salt. But I am going to show you, um, I am going to show you a video as to why I do believe he is no longer alive. I'm going to go ahead and play his flight really quick. Now, I am going to play the video of that woman yelling, yo, yo, yo. So I do apologize in advance because everybody says that uh, she's very annoying. So I do apologize about that. But I do have to play her video because it's very important for what I'm about to show. So I do want to make, a, a, we should pay attention to this scene right here. And why I say we should pay attention to the scene is because there is a man wearing a white shirt. There's a man wearing a blue shirt. There's a man wearing a light green shirt. And there's a man wearing a white shirt. Now throughout, now I know some people will say it's the lighting of the airplane that's making the man's shirt look lime green. And that is not the case. Because there's other passengers on that flight where you clearly see them wearing a white shirt. Now the man that tackles the man who's wearing a green shirt is wearing a white shirt. You can see, hold on. Let me see if I can. Every, every, every time I make a, make a. Oh, hey. So he's wearing a green shirt. You can clearly see he's wearing a light green shirt. You can see that. Look at everyone filming. <laughs> Now, see, there's a man that tackles him that is wearing a white shirt. Now look at the man who is being drug out by police. Watch this. If I can find the video. Look, the man who is being taken by police is wearing the same exact shirt of the man who tackled him. So the man who tackled him is who's being escorted by police. Tom Cowling was never taken by police. So I do believe Tom Cowling is no longer alive. I believe when they tackled Tom Cowling, he was, he, maybe he passed away from everybody on top of him. But he is not the one who is being taken by police because he's not wearing a white shirt. The man who is tackling him is wearing a white shirt. That is the same exact color shirt of the man who's being taken by police. So it doesn't look good for Tom Cowling. He hasn't even been, um, he hasn't even been on his Twitter, nothing like that. Nobody has heard from this man. Just like with the woman, but nobody has heard from this man at all. And there are a few oddities on his flight as well that I want to take a look at. Because some are also saying that you can also see a face. I'll try to fix the screen, but... Some are also saying that you can see a face on his flight, and the face looks abnormal. I'll go ahead and play my video, because I think oh, hey, this video is a little bit more clear. Yo! Hey, Everyone, please, come on, please. Go! Mark, you're doing it for having short time! <laughs> Look at everyone filming, man! <laughs> What's wrong? I'm trying. 
trying to see that I, if I can catch his face. See, now, another thing I noticed about his flight, too, there's a man wearing dark sunglasses, like it was on her flight. I can't capture it, it's going too fast, but... <laughs> See? Right there. Right there. See that man with, with the with the sunglasses on? Right there? Watch. Now it's weird how somebody's wearing dark sunglasses on a plane, but watch this. See? Right there. Right there. I want to show you that there are two people in the same dark sunglasses that was on her flight. Listen, exactly. But the story we are going to get to the bottom of this. Don't on Friday, on Friday at around 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. time. Don't forget, don't forget I, might I might a part, a part and who freak who freak not, not just so intrigued, intrigued and addicted by these two stories. these two stories. Let me let me go back. You can see sudden went nuts as on an air things all sunglasses as well. Human human on us on us on Mars. On me, on me. Or is that? Is that? Oh, he was. He was. Birds. Birds. There is no real. Maybe he neither believes. I'm telling you, I'm getting the off. And they're right there. You see him? Why are these? Why are? Look right here, and you see his stone cold face. You you see his face? He has no. He's not looking at what whatever's going around him. If you see somebody making that commotion, wouldn't you turn your head? Wouldn't you turn your neck? But she doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, but see, look. Two men with dark sunglasses with these, like, blank expression, expressions on their face. No, this isn't Photoshop. This is this... And now, uh, Artemis Nectar, now that you point this out, could this be Men in Black? Could this be Men in... Is this exactly what we're seeing here, Men in Black? Because why do we have, on two different flights a, a day apart, two people in dark sunglasses? This is not Photoshopped, I promise you. This is the same... Th these are the um, same flights. Th this is not Photoshopped. So, there's something new we found here. Every time I look at this video, I always find something new. I always find something new in these, in these videos. I've never noticed that before in his flight until I opened it up and I saw someone was wearing glasses on his flight staring right at him. So now I strongly believe that this could be the fake alien attack this could be the um project blue beam let me see if i can slow the video down better um I mean, I'm really freak. <laughs> I'm really freaking out because the guy on the first plane who had the dark sunglasses, I noticed him right away. But this is the first time I noticed a man in dark sunglasses on his flight. This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. What you're seeing, this happened a day apart. So who are these people in the dark sunglasses? It very well could be a government distraction, but I do believe they're testing something. I, I really do think they're testing something here. 
I don't know. I don't think we have a deaf and blind person on uh, two different flights. Look, okay, look at all the coincidences. Look at all the coincidences on two flights that happened back to back, only a day apart. We have two people who are freaking out about someone sitting next to them. We have two people now in dark sunglasses. There, there are other coincidences on both. And, and, oh, and also on both of these people's flights, we there was nobody recording. There was nobody recording the people next to them. Why was nobody getting up and recording these seats? I can see one coincidence. Okay, fine. Two, it's getting a little weird. But now we have three. We have we have now on both their flights the same blind deaf person wearing dark sunglasses, sitting right next to them. Well, he, well, she he wasn't sitting next to the woman, but come on, I mean, come on. Something else is happening here. Exactly, uh, Fanny Mac. It's math mathematically impossible to have these many coincidences. They were calling these people crazy. They were calling these people weird. But how can you have these many coincidences? I don't buy it. I'm gonna take a um I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a screenshot of this because this is the first time I've ever saw this before. But yeah, it's really about to hit the fan. I, I really do think it's about to hit the fan. Um, be before, look, hold on, let me show you something. And this is not conspiracy theory. This is something that's laid out on the government website. Let me show you. You can see this for yourself. This is on the United Nation. They want to transform the world by 2030. They have a they have a lot listed out as to what they want by 2030 and you can you can read all this. So again, how are they going to get this done? And I do believe the only way they will get this done is through Project Bluebeam, a fake alien attack. Mr. Hey Holmes, I like that theory too. I was going to make a video on that theory, but I sounded like I was going too far into the rabbit hole when I was going to I was going to say that she looked like she could be artificial intelligence. That the person sitting next to her said something that she couldn't recognize and she started to freak out. That I mean that's a possibility. I like that theory. Any theory fits when it comes to this story. And that's what's scary about all this. But I do believe there is a key difference between her flight and Tom Cowling's flight. Hey, everybody that's just joining. If you, if, um, if, if you haven't heard yet, we found another similarity between her flight and the man's flight. There are two people wearing dark sunglasses on their flight. And we think that could be the men in black. So we all found a new um, a new mystery here, a new mystery to the puzzle here. But, yeah, I mean, look, you can see it for, for yourself. You can see it on the UN website if they want. And I do... I do, and I, I strongly believe that Tom Cowling's flight, the man who freaked out, that's his name, Tom Cowling, I do believe his flight was a lot different than her flight. I, th there may have been crisis actors on her flight. There may have been artificial intelligence. But what's scary about Tom Cowling's flight is that I do believe there are real demons on his flight. And because as soon as 
fight. I was very scared. I wasn't scared when I saw her fight, but something inside of me made me really scared when I saw his fight. How the people were acting. I saw a couple people that didn't look human and they were jumping and laughing. And as he was running scared down the aisle, the woman that was recording was mocking him saying, oh, what are you scared of? His flight was full of mocking, full of laughing, full of terror. That, that was a flight from hell. I'm sorry, that was a flight from hell. He must have hit a portal by himself, hitting hell. And listen to the key word. Coach you on him. His coach said that he is no longer He's a clean living guy and a born again Christian. Notice the key word Christian. So I do, I, I want to that his flight was full of demons. Nobody was recording nothing on Tom Calling's flight. But uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can slow down. I do believe I have a slowdown of his flight. Let me go back to that. Is the audio still messed up? Let me see if I can fix it. Is the audio any better? Okay, let me go ahead and see if I can fix the audio. Uh, one moment. Is that any better? Okay, perfect. I do want to give a shout out really quick to uh, somebody, um, the Inverted Society. Uh, that, that is a podcast that I'm on. We talk about a whole bunch of different things. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and check them out, please go ahead and check them out. They, uh, they're a bunch of guys that I know, uh, real life friends, and we just started a podcast together. But um, yeah, that that's really scary. Um, let's go ahead and bring his flight back up and see if we can notice anything else. I'll go ahead and see if I can slow it down. Cause I all, and, the, and also on his flight, uh, come on. I, the B freaks, I know people wear sunglasses all the time, but I, wow. and I have never seen, uh, people wearing dark sunglasses on, on two flights that were back to back. I have not seen it. And the people that were wearing dark sunglasses, well, the guy on her flight, who was wearing dark sunglasses, was acting very odd. He did not look back at her once. Only so much can be a coincidence. Come on. It doesn't have to be a mask. I don't, it, it might not have to be a mask, but let me see if I can get a slowdown of her of his flight I don't think I, I I don't think I have um And even these men who are tackling Tom Calling look oddly like him. And I know people are saying, "Oh, because you know, you're saying all white people look alike." And that's not what I was getting at. This flight was really weird. The two men that tackled him look look like him anybody can see that it could also deal with cloning here but there's also this woman that looks really weird on his plane too let me see if i can
I almost had it. Hold on. I almost had it. I'm sorry. There's a woman in a white hat right here that looks really weird. They're saying that she's artificial intelligence as well. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't believe this man here is still alive. No, I don't think it's I don't think it is uh the same the same uh man from her flight, but I do believe on on these flights that there are people that are sitting next to them that are really freaking them out. It could be that these flights now do have the men in black. Maybe aliens did um and infiltrate these planes and now the men in black are on these planes but I can't get a clear shot of her That woman with the gray right there that's sitting between these two people right here, they're saying that something was really off about her. And another point I want to bring up now that we play these videos is that American Airlines had a lot of strangeness with it as well. There was um, sounds of ghouls being heard uh, throughout the intercom. And also there was another incident where all the flight staff and the people who are flying on an American Airlines plane all became sick over a mysterious illness. Let me see if I can go ahead and play that sound. Seems to have broken into the intercom system and continues to make a sound that is somewhere between an orgasm and vomiting. Uh, you all hear that? I think she became aggressive. And they, they're saying that the, the intercom was hacked, but I, I don't know what's going on on these planes. Yeah, it's really weird, right? I don't know what's happening on these planes, but uh, Mr. Ballin did a great story of Flight 401 where these planes could possibly be haunted due to them using older parts. And then, like I said, there was another plane where American Airlines as well, where everybody became sick. And you have to ask yourself, why is this only on planes? Uh, yeah, intercoms can be hacked, but this was the only time that this happened. It's never happened anymore. <laughs> they they could be in the Mile High Club, yeah. There, there could be two ghouls back there, get it all. But um, it's just all weird that these are happening on planes. I, yeah, I, that's what I believe, Trinity. I believe that the um, I do believe that the boxer did die. Let me let me go ahead and scroll up and see the comment that was left. Sorry, I, let me. Uh... Oh, thank you. Okay, let me go. Let me go back to there and see if I can slow mm -hmm. it down. Can you put on ready? This right here. Okay, right. There you go. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and start his again. See if we can notice anything. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. A hundred percent know that the boxer died, but as I made. Um, a point that he's wearing a lime green shirt and the other person that's tackling him is 
wearing a white shirt. And so the only person that came out of the plane that's about to take off security was a person wearing a uh, that's white not shirt. about to take off. What's that? It's an yeah, I, I mean, I, I do strongly believe that the boxer did die. I, I do believe that. Because he's nowhere seen on his um, on his Twitter. And he, he would post religiously. Nobody's speaking out ab about him or the woman. The woman, nobody's speaking out at all. Nobody knows her. No friends, no family, no nothing. But very mysteriously, uh, they know her name all of a sudden. Some random YouTuber knows her name as either Tiffany Gomez or Gomas or Jenna Wilson. But um, let's slow his, we'll go ahead and slow his uh, flight down. The boxer's name is uh, Tom Callings. Yeah, that, that's actually a good idea to check the jail records. I'm sure they have, they would have them there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, you're right. It does, doesn't it? See, that's the, that that shirt is the same color shirt as the man who's being escorted off that flight. I mean, that's so crazy, though. Nobody is getting up and looking at, you know, what freaked him out. Nobody's getting up and concerned what scared this man? How they know? Like, look, look at this kid's face. This, this, this whole thing looks demonic. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I believe. I believe those two names are fake. Those two names are not real. They came out too. All of a sudden, no, no family member put those names out there. No, no friends put those names out there. Some random YouTuber five days ago put out the name that's Tiffany Gomez, even though nobody else could find her. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Doesn't does look like a bunch of military people. That woman was so annoying. She ruined she ruined my video. Yo, yo, yo. She she ruined my video, but yeah, it doesn't look too good for Tom. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I noticed that too. She does look like somebody. The one, let's go ahead and bring her back up. Let's go bring let's go find the cuz she does look like somebody who could be a part of the military. That that was a good point to make. She really does look like somebody who could be a, uh, um, in the army. And that that's another good point. Uh, the the uh, men who are tackling uh, Tom, who is trying to run away, they all have the same style shirt on. They all have the same style haircut. It's all too weird. It's it's very weird. His flight was very weird. Yeah, she does hold the Baphomet sign out. I think there's there's a couple theories I have when it comes to her flight. I do believe either 
these are crisis actors or they're trying to distract us what happened with Tom's flight because now the, the media are more focused on her flight than they are Tom's flight and Tom's flight happened a day prior to her flight. So I think this is a way to get us distracted and keep us focused away from Tom's flight. And I don't think Tom was dealing with any like crisis actors there. I think something really happened on his flight that was a lot different than her flight. Yeah, she does. She definitely looks like she could be a part of uh, the military. She definitely does. I mean that's that's a good that's a good theory. The AI theory is a really good theory. Because where else I mean a plane or a train is the best place to test uh, these AIs. There really Yeah, that that's they said it's some type of um the hideout is some kind of concert some type of um party but i've never heard of this hideout before that was the first time i've ever heard of this hideout everything can have a dual meaning remember that so even if they say the hideout is some kind of party is some kind of function everything has a dual meaning remember that they might not be crisis actors they might not be but remember, there was an actor on that flight. Carrot Top was on that flight. Yeah, I I agree. Um, some can say, now. I, I I do believe in the second the the other angle. She does come off more scared. She even says something's not right. You can hear in her voice that she was scared. But Tom. Tom was definitely scared of what he saw. He did not look back. He was not looking back. He just wanted to go tell the, the pilots whatever he saw. And he was tackled. I, I've, I've, they, they could have restrained him. They could have, they could have stopped him. But they just all ganged up on that man. And as he was trying to speak, you heard somebody tell him, be quiet. Something good did not happen to Tom. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, say that, but um, yeah, I, I agree. Carrot, Carrot Top has always freaked me out. Carrot Top has always freaked me out. This stuff is real. This is real. This is real. Nobody can. I, I've heard people doing reverse. Um, reverse back mask on her photo and nobody can find her that's why i found it odd uh let's let's go ahead and bring up that video next <laughs> They're saying that this woman is the Here woman who have freaked some out details on the plane. About her. I don't buy it. Her name is Tiffany Gomez, and she's from Dallas, Texas. Fresh out of college at Oklahoma State University, Tiffany Gomez joined a recruitment firm in her hometown of Dallas, but quickly realized it wasn't the right fit. Her sister-in-law introduced her to a local this? distributor, and eventually she landed a job there. I was eager to learn. Eager to please and eager to take on more, she remembers. Her inspiration, Her inspiration my, mother, my mother, for so many reasons. Her courage and conviction are second to none. She is the first I mean, to lend a hand look when to someone another. needs I don't, help. I don't She's my sounding her. board, my sanity, is, uh, my coach, my confidant. I don't think we'll ever She's find simply out who that woman truly is on that plane. Yeah, the bodies don't match. Yeah, exactly. Why is the why the weird voiceover? I've never heard this person. And how did he get all this footage of her? When I was, trust me, I was so addicted to this story when it came out. I was looking everywhere. I was I was googling her. I was I was putting her photo into Google to see if anyone would pop up. 
nothing. I was trying to do my homework. But this person has a video of her playing golf, knows her job, knows everything about this woman. No, no family has ever spoken out. No friends have ever spoken out. But this person, 247 TV, has found a lot about this woman. I don't believe it's the same woman. I don't. Yeah, I think this is a lookalike. I think this person that we're going to see here that's playing the golf that you see on video is going to be the person that's going to speak out in her place. I think this, I promise you, that is what's going to happen. This is, this is a lookalike that's going to speak to her place. And conviction, and conviction are second out of college at Oklahoma State University. Tiffany Gomez joined no, the, the recruitment the, the firm the Tiffany, in her hometown uh, Gomez, of Dallas, this, this person you but see quickly here realized it is, wasn't the uh, right fit. Her sister in law introduced her to a local distributor, and eventually she landed this a job. See here is a fake. I was this eager, person to right here eager to learn, eager to please, and eager to speak out on the news. I promise she remembers, you that. She remembers. Her, inspiration, her inspiration, my mother, my mother for so many reasons. So re That's not the same woman. They don't even have the same nose. They, they, this person is not the same person. And there was another story of, I don't know if you all remember when um, the jab came out. There was a nurse who got the jab. Watch. Now, a nurse this is woman vaccinated, vaccinated, but just minutes later, minutes later, this happened. This happened. I'm sorry. On camera. She was nowhere to be seen for two years. Tiffany Dover fainted her, as she spoke um, to reporters at a hospital. Everything about her was wiped Tennessee. out. But it turns out it turns now, wasn't look at this woman. To the look vaccine. at this woman. Tiffany has a medical has condition a medical and faints and often. She, and ever, and since she fainted, and spoke to reporters. she was never. Ever, I look, look really good this probably woman. Probably six times in the past six When she fainted, weeks, yeah, nobody yeah, could I, find her. Nobody could ever find out what happened. She did not speak People should not use And then two years later... She finally speaks out. Few looking Americans like this know what it's like. Is that to the, be the same target woman? of a conspiracy theory? But since the day I'm nurse sorry, Tiffany these, Dover is, fainted while getting her COVID is, is vaccine, is that the same woman that was getting the needle? Been the same. And tonight she's speaking out for the first time in an exclusive. That's not the same woman. I'm sorry, that is not it. the same woman. They are the massive online community of conspiracy theorists who've been convinced she's dead for more than two years. So the person that's going to be speaking out who claims to be Tiffany Gomas is going to be a double. It's going to be a fake. The person that we saw in that flight is not the same person. Yeah, the nurse story was kind of crazy. Um, she fainted on live TV and she went missing for two years. Everything was scrubbed about her. Her family never spoke out. Her friends never spoke out. You couldn't really find any information about her uh, in the news. And anybody that spoke, you know, and asking, you know, what happened to her were labeled conspiracy theorists. Two years later, a whole two years later, she decides to speak out. Make that make sense. If they don't want people to talk about conspiracies and uh, make up conspiracies, then they should stop keeping that door open. These people are seen on TV. That nurse was seen on TV. She was get, she was uh, told to do something by the government at that time. And then she goes missing for two years. And anybody that speaks about it are labeled conspiracy theorists. Well, they need to stop keeping that door open. It's not our fault that we want to speak about it. If something doesn't look right, we speak about it. And the whole Jamie Foxx thing falls in line with this, too. Now, Jamie Foxx, who was missing for the longest time, is now saving old, older ladies, getting their purse, and saving them. Make that make sense. When have you ever heard Jamie Foxx uh, rescuing somebody who's being robbed? Look, 
Jamie Foxx spotted three days ago returning a missing woman's purse. These are all clones. These are all um, body doubles. And when, when um, I don't, I don't think we'll ever hear from Tom again. He's in a whole different country. His story is just going to get swept under the rug. But when this woman on the plane finally decides to speak out, we're going to see uh, that woman who is playing golf. Yeah, Fox is gone. Fox is definitely gone. That's not Jamie Fox. That's not Jamie Fox at all. Exactly. We we can talk and speculate about whatever we want. If you if you all check the comments in my videos, I am getting blasted left and right by people who are telling me I shouldn't talk about people who are mentally ill. Nobody knows that these people are mentally ill. Nobody knows they're um their blood work, their you know, their their labs, them seeing doctors, but they want to be labeled mentally ill as soon as possible. These are all doppelgangers. Is and I thought the same that's crazy you mentioned that WW. Jamie has a tattoo. I remember Jamie Foxx having a tattoo on his arm. Go, watch, look, good thing you pointed that out. Right there, look. It's the clearest it's the clearest He had a tattoo on his forearm and his arm. I remember that. This man has no tattoos. This is not Jamie Foxx. Does that look like Jamie Foxx to you? Someone has to know that woman on the plane. And I'm not buying, I'm not buying a random YouTuber who is the only one to know who she is. I'm not going to buy that. He's missing ha his tattoos. And Jamie, I know he, he was sick, but Jamie is, is a lot bigger than this guy. He was practicing for the Mike Tyson role. He, J Jamie is, uh, um, even his face looks off. Look at his nose. Look at his lips. That's not Jamie Foxx. I'm sorry. That's not Jamie Foxx. So... The woman who freaked out on her plane is going to have a, um, a body double come out and talk about it, just like Jamie Foxx. Right, exactly. His face shape is different. Video yet. Video yet. Come on, that's of not Jamie Foxx. James actor James Every, all, all actors have a body double. Yes, you look different when you're sick. But like I said, Jamie has tattoos. Jamie has Jamie. This is not Jamie's face. I mean, your face, your face doesn't really change. I appreciate that. Thank you for the two dollars. I I can't see your name. Is that um? It says unknown, but I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the two dollars. I appreciate that. Jamie Fox. Yeah, this is not Jamie Fox. But and they're and they're saying now that he's rescuing women. He's on party boats. Why isn't he speaking out? This all falls in line together with the people on the plane. Jamie hasn't spoke out. The woman who had a freak out on her plane has not spoke out. The man who had a freak out on his plane has not spoke out. Why are these people not speaking out? Why is nobody speaking out on their behalf? It makes no sense. No, the uh, I don't think he had brain surgery. He might have. Who knows? He might have. They might have put his brain in a clone's body. You never know with, with Holly Weird. But um, the theory, the theory as to what happened with Jamie Foxx is that he got the jab. The I, I don't know if I can say it on um, I don't know if I can say it on a live, but YouTube's always watching. But he got the C nineteen jab, and he a blood clot went to his brain, and um, that was the last we heard of him. A, a rumor came out that he got the needle and uh. He went blind, and he he had a he, he went blind and paralyzed from the waist down. I don't know who this Marlon Gibson person is, but they really want to push a narrative on everything I'm saying. I'm telling YouTube, yeah, yeah, they're saying Jamie Fox is out there playing pickleball. No, unfortunately, I don't have any moderators, but like I said, I'm I'm used to it. I get this in my comments. I, I get people who are um, bashing me in the comments as well. So, 
of, of my videos. So I'm used to it. But you got you got to look past that and you got to, you know, you got to uh, keep your mind open. Like I always say, I'd rather look crazy with an open mind than have a closed mind and pretend to be smart. So you can have people saying anything they want. It's not going to change the truth. Jamie doesn't play pickleball. I've never heard Jamie Foxx playing pickleball. I've never heard Jamie Foxx risking his career and rescuing a uh, a woman's purse from a robber. I've never heard of that. I'm sorry. These And Jamie Foxx has a new movie coming out calling They Clone Tyrone. I, I've never heard of any of this before. I'm sorry. But, um... Yeah, there, there was, there's just there's so much that can be said about the people on the plane, about those two people on the plane, that you, you can you can say any theory and it all makes sense. And now, now every... Thank you so much, Poppy Shampoo, for the $2. I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. Um, but now, we have... Let me let me bring this up here. Let me see if you can all see it. Well, and and ask yourself this: if it's not if it's not crisis actors, if it's not um, hold on, let me get this out of the way. If it's not if it, if it's not crisis actors, if it's not Project Bluebeam, why do why why is the government constantly pushing aliens and UFOs in the news and media? Nobody's asking about aliens and UFOs. Nobody's asking this, but we're constantly hearing it. It's constantly being forced down our throat, and we're constantly hearing that they're hostile. I'm telling you, the aliens. And these flights are all connected. And I do, and the people in those glasses are men in black. If you don't like conspiracy theories, then why are you here? I'm clearly a conspiracy theory channel. I'm a horror channel. I'm a consp- It's like going to a true crime channel and saying you don't like true crime. That doesn't make no sense. But I'm not. I'm not going to continue giving you. Um, look, Congressman issues grim warning after viewing classified UFO footage. This could turn the Earth to charcoal. They want to push into our mind that these are hostile beings. That a war is coming. They want to push that in there. Thank you. I appreciate that, Gina. Thank you so much. I love this community. I really do. You all have stuck with me through all my different iterations from paranormal to true crime to conspiracy. But I've always been, you know, the same realm. I've always been that same person. Um, but yeah, they, they really want us. And, and another part Another thing that always that always bothered me was that family in the backyard in Las Vegas. That Las Vegas family who saw an alien crash into their backyard. We never saw police footage of their backyard. Was that also a part of this whole Project Bluebeam? They said that, look. You can't find the uh, Vegas police destroyed, redacted, 16 minutes of UFO footage, of, of uh, body cam footage of the family's backyard. They destroyed any footage that took place in the backyard. They have the footage in the front yard, 
but they destroyed any footage in the backyard. So with all this alien talk in the media lately, I, I it's coming. Project Bluebeam is coming. It's only a matter of when. It's going to happen before 2030 because, like I said, they want to transform our world by 2030. But it, it is happening. Thank you. I, I appreciate your subscription. I, I appreciate anybody that subscribes to this channel. I, I know I've been posting a lot about uh, the plane, but... This is a story that has really captivated me. I have been so just baffled about what's going on here. And there are so many theories that can be said. Exactly. That's another weird thing, Sammy C, that um, all the flight attendants on that flight were all changed out. The people, it is said that the people were able to go back on that flight, but all of the flight attendants were changed out. Why? Why were the flight attendants changed out? That makes no sense. They only had about an hour or two hour delay, so it wasn't like it was the end of their shift. It wasn't like eight hours went by. It was only like maybe an hour or two hour sweep, and they all got back on the plane. So why would they change out the staff? Something strange really is going on. That could be too, because the, the flight attendants could be AI. I, I want to give a, sh <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Katie right there. That's that's my bestie right there, that's my homegirl right there. Um, that's an, that's another thing. What exactly did they re remove from that plane? The whole thing is staged. The whole thing is weird. But if you want to take anything from this live stream, do not fall for the whole, her name is Tiffany Gomas or um, uh, w Williams. Her name has not been released yet. That is all fake. Just like, and, and another thing, the people that are saying that the man with the green hoodie was on that flight, the man with the green hoodie was not on that flight. He was a distraction, just like the woman that said she was a racist and stole the ear, the AirPods. That was a distraction. We don't know her name yet. No family, no friends has spoke out until we hear from family and friends. And at this point, even if we do hear something, I'm going to believe that's a body double. I'm sorry. That's, that's how my mind works. I am very open. I need a lot of evidence before you can tell me this is real. Because this world is weird. I believe anything and everything can happen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate you all watching the stream. I do. And subscribing. I really do appreciate that. And CERN. CERN has a lot to do with this as well. Ever since CERN was started, a lot of weird stuff has happened. Everybody says we got weird in the, in the, uh, in the 2000s. Well, what was started in the 2000s was CERN. And CERN smashed that veil. CERN uh, obliterated that veil. That's why we're seeing a lot of weird stuff going on. That's why we're hearing about the Mandela effect. We're hearing a lot of things going on. Because ever since CERN uh, was started up. I want you guys to hit this like button harder than CERN smash that veil. And, and, and CERN smash that pretty hard. Not going to lie. Exactly. That's why we have the Mandela effect. Ever since CERN was started, the Mandela effect started. I can keep going further and further into the rabbit hole. I can go so far that I don't think I'll ever get myself out. But um, yeah, CERN initiated or CERN was has to do with the Mandela effect. You never heard of the Mandela effect in the 90s. Have you ever heard of your father, or your, your mother, your grandparents ever talk about a Mandela effect? No. Only you have talked about a Mandela effect. Because CERN was started when, in the early 2000s and it started that Mandela effect. You, you tell somebody that was born in the 1950s, 1960s about a Mandela effect, they'll tell you to get out of their house. They'll tell you to get the hell out of here. I don't want to hear that mess. 
I appreciate that. Thank you so much, uh, Emmanuel Medeiros, for the 11. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. I, I know, I know, my brother. It's it's hard to to speak out, especially when you're in certain uh, countries where you can't speak your mind. But always speak your truth. That's how I feel. Even here, you can't speak your mind. On YouTube, you will get a strike for certain things. I know eventually I will um, get a strike on this channel. I know I will lose this channel eventually because of multiple my multiple uh, videos I have made. I have I keep getting fact checked and fact checked. Um, so I know eventually I lose this channel. But always speak your truth. Have you ever heard of the true? He was talking about the area where Sir. No, I haven't heard of that. No. Um, I, I there there actually is a ritual. Go, look look at this. There was a ritual in CERN. Let me show you. Now this. Hold on. Watch this. This is even weird. This is. They, see, they've taken down certain things. Uh, no, look here, right here. This was a um, ein Amateurvideo vom renommierten Genfer Forschungszentrum CERN sorgt im Netz für Aufruhr. Die Aufnahmen zeigen die vermeintliche Hinrichtung einer Frau direkt vor der Shiva-Statue am Zentrum. Der Mann hinter der Kamera scheint nicht zu ahnen, was gleich passieren wird. Die mit Krücken vermummte Gruppe marschiert auf den Platz. Einer Frau wird das Gewand abgenommen, sie legt sich auf den Boden, dann sieht es danach aus, als würde sie mit einem Messer Myra Clayton und Artemis Nectar 7 have been a part of my um have have been in the beginning with uh My YouTube channel and a few others. Die Szenerie wirkt bedrohlich, uh, fast wie ein Opferritual. Doch eine Hinrichtung scheint es in Wirklichkeit nicht gegeben zu haben. Auch wirkt das Ganze stark inszeniert. Trotzdem empört das Video das Netz sowie das Forschungszentrum selbst. Die Aufnahmen seien ohne deren Wissen auf dem CERN-Gelände entstanden. Nun soll es eine interne Untersuchung gegen die Beteiligten geben. Die Einrichtung fürchtet auch um ihren renommierten Ruf. Sicherheitsbedenken soll es aber nicht gegeben haben. Alle Beteiligten hätten eine Zugangsberechtigung gehabt. I will admit, Sarah is my wife. She is my wife. So without Sarah, there would be nothing. There would be no Mansa Horror. Sarah is my wife. So without her, there would be... No, she, she's my wife. So without her, none, none of this would be possible. So she's been through me through thick and thin. Um, I couldn't ask for anybody better than her. I do have another video. Thank you so much for um, mentioning the MH370 flight. I really do uh, want to thank you for mentioning that because I do have a video coming about that. Um, a conspiracy theory that happened in, on that flight. I do have um, a, a video coming about that shortly. I do have other videos that are coming out. I don't want you all to think that I'm stuck on this whole... Um, I, I don't want you to think I'm stuck on this whole plane even though I will be making more videos about it there are other videos I will be making thank you so much Nitro for the 199 I do appreciate that who Marlon yeah, let's give a shout out to Marlon Marlon we have to give a shout out to those that want to keep us um, our minds closed because if, if it wasn't for people like Marlon to have us see the truth that, that makes us keep our mind open, then we're all going to have our mind closed. But we can see how how these people are out there that want to spin the narrative, that want to control the narrative. Just like Marlon, he wants to control that narrative. And I'm sure YouTube has these plans. The government has these plans to control the narrative. So we have to thank Marlon. Because without people like him that keep these conspiracy theories alive, 
our minds will not continue to be open. So thank you so much, Marlon. Let's give a big shout out to Marlon Gibson, everybody, please. <laughs> Miggy Hazmat, thank you so much for the four ninety nine. Thank you so much uh, for the awesome shout out. I appreciate that. Um, and anybody else that I missed as well, I'm I'm very sorry. Is Sarah Latina? Um, she is half Latina. That is correct. Um, but her her mixes when I first I, I will give you I will let you guys know when I first met Sarah, I I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world, and she still is. She is the mother to my daughter. Um, I I I can't I couldn't be more thankful than to have her in in my life. I, I really can't. I, I honestly don't know what I would do without her. Um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Big shout out to Marlon. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, all my videos lately are getting fact checked. Why would why would they fact check a a, a a video about Obama being a reptilian? They make it easy. They they make it easy for us. But um. I do appreciate you all being on this live chat with me. Um, this is one of my longer videos. I do apologize. I do have to put my uh, daughter to bed. Um, I do have to get an early day tomorrow. And so I really do appreciate I, I will do this again. I will do these lives again. And I will make them much longer. Um, and I do appreciate you all for being here. Especially Marlon. Again, <laughs> let's give a big shout out to Marlon. But we will be doing another live. Check out uh, my, my uh, videos in the future. Um, again, thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. You all have been great. Thank you again.